All right, three political stories. I'm going to give Don the first one here. Uh, Charlie Rank. Okay, um, anyone who thought he'd be uh, some uh, farewell tour and go quietly into the good night, not so much here. He has not forgotten uh, his primary challenger. And uh, Mr. Espaillat, it turns out uh, uh, he's got, um, he's going to have a little challenge on his hands here. Charlie Ringel's no, more than happy uh, to uh, help out that challenger. Isn't that right? Well, Mr. Espaillat, uh, let's keep in mind the district is predominantly Latino, so he's probably going to win, but he is looking at some possible um, strong opposition in terms of Rangel endorsing his opponent. Don't think that Rangel is just going to go away, and Rangel is angry. Rangel's angry at everyone right now, and he's going to show it. Is, by the way, put the odds that he's really done after this last term. Uh, the only way I see Rangel stepping down is if nature decides that really? his time is so up. So his promises I just don't last see, term, you're not buying Maybe it. I'm wrong, but I just don't see him stepping off. I just don't see it. All right. Um, Mr. Grimm, um, they're talking there could be a plea deal and everything else. I mean, he is... He, he's floating a plea deal, not, <laughs> right. the, not the feds. Right, right. He's floating a right. plea deal. And of a course. sweetheart deal like that. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to go <laughs> for Step this. Step this out, how this is going to play out. Because for everybody who knows right now, the sitting congressman obviously on Staten Island, he's got little if any money, he's got little if any staff, he's got no Republican, whether it be state or even national support. But I'm telling you, Jonathan, you're close to this to me, people on Staten Island tell me they think he's still got a legitimate chance to win. And he does. And he does. The one disadvantage he's going to have is super PACs and some of these other big organizations out there are prepared and will dump a lot of money in favor of the Democratic candidate, Dominic Recchi, a former city councilman. So that's going to be a major disadvantage. They're, they have roughly a million dollars each from here through, through November on hand, but the amount of outside spending that's going to go to Dominic's help is going to be tremendous and huge. And yeah, of course he's floating plea deals to try to keep his law license and try to keep his seat in office, but the feds are in no position to bargain with him and not, and not do, you know, do there's no way you're going to take Do we have before November, you think? Yeah, I think you do. I think you're going to have more indictments, actually. This is just one particular instance with him and his business. Nothing's been gone into his campaign finances right. from 2010. Right. That stuff needs to come out. I was t I'm not a lawyer, but I was told that they had to get him on these tax counts because the statute of limitations would have been up. So they had to do it, and they had to do it then because otherwise they wouldn't have so had the opportunity to do So we're not going to get to the so. ethics stuff in the House. We're going to just be dealing with some potential he, criminal he has stuff. $400,000 in legal bills already racked up, and there's nothing to do with this indictment. It has everything to do with his campaign finances but Richard, he's floating a plea deal, the congressman, where he keeps his license, stays in Congress, and this is only a misdemeanor. Right. Good I luck think I won that. a lottery yeah. with that yeah. one, too. Yeah, I won right. a lottery with that one. Good luck. <laughs> okay, Andrew, help me out. Uh, Chris Christie, he's making the rounds um, everywhere, but especially Iowa and New Hampshire. I can't imagine why. <laughs> well, I, I actually am wondering, is it because after the year that he's had, he's trying to get in the good graces here, he's head of the RGA, he's trying to say... Let me get through this ugliness. Maybe, uh, you know, 2014 won't be my year here, but I'm going to become a good guy in the Republican. Or does he say, this is my window? I really believe I can be the Republican nominee for president in two years. You know, there's, there's a reason why he wanted to be the head of the RGA. It's because it lets you do both at the same time, and he is trying to do both at the same time. You make a lot of friends. You raise a lot of money for a lot of Republicans when you're in that job. That builds up favors that you can turn around and, and pay out later. And especially if you've helped candidates get over the top, then all of a sudden you've got people who can come and endorse you, especially in early primary or caucus states like Iowa and New Hampshire. At the same time, every time he sets foot in Des Moines or every time he's in Manchester or every time he's in South Carolina, the, the press is there, the camera's there, and it's this little subtle reminder that, oh, by the way, I'm Chris Christie. I'm going to say something that makes headlines just so that I get in the paper the next day, and you'll remember me two years from now. Okay, I'm asking you, um, July of this year, so uh, is he running for president? Yes. Of course. Yeah. But ask Mitt Romney. You, you're the same guy talking about. He's the same guy that no, told no, me that he's going away. He says he can't win. Oh, he cannot win. Uh, no, I ask, agree. I ask agree. Mitt Romney if Chris Christie is a team player. The only reason why he wanted to be the head of the Governor's Association is so he can push his presidential campaign. Chris Christie is all about Chris Christie. Well, I don't think we're going to disagree on that <laughs> one. <laughs> and look, anytime anybody, we, we touched on this with Obama before, too. Anytime somebody comes to you, anytime somebody who does what Jonathan does comes to you and says, I've got this path for you to win this elective office, odds are you're running. Odds are you're going to go for it, because how many times is that path going to open up for you? But so why wouldn't Chris Christie run? He's not going to be less damaged in 2020. The same deep money guys are going to go to the Jeb Bush of the world, not him.
No. I mean, yeah. I think they're going to stand by and they're going right. to stick with him. All right. Um, well, we got a nice story. They think Straight he can ahead. win a general. <laughs> that's what it is. That's not the nice story. No, no that's sorry. not the nice story. <laughs> this is how two mothers who were perfect strangers were united by a single flag and the memory of a fallen story.